Hello, welcome to another IoT KG video. In this video, we'll be going through how to control our link tap using the sensor data through Integromat. Make sure you've watched the link tap setup video and the Integromat setup video before starting this one. The relevant links and code snippets will be included in the description box below. Right now, we have our puck getting data from our sensors and continuously uploading it to our phones via the IoT KG app. We can monitor our soil moisture levels so that when the moisture gets too low, the link tap turns on and waters the garden. A dry threshold value of 50% will be used in this video. However, you should choose a threshold based on your sensor values and what suits your plants the best. First, log on to your Integromat account and make a new scenario using webhooks and HTTP. HTTP is a protocol which is used for sending requests via the internet to the link tap server, which allows us to control our link tap. Now, set up the webhook. This is very similar to the Google Sheets Integromat setup video, so watch that first if you want to see the steps. You can choose an existing webhook if you've set it up already. No need to redetermine data structure if Integromat already recognizes your sensor values. Next, go to the following link and sign into your LinkTap account. Create a new key. You need to save this key somewhere, otherwise you'll need to regenerate it if you lose it. This key is called an API key, which allows us personal control over our LinkTap. Each account will have a unique API key, and you can think of it as a password for controlling your link tap. Therefore, it is very important to keep it safe. Otherwise, anyone who knows it can control your tap without your permission. Add a HTTP module with make a request to your Integromat scenario. Fill it with the following information. Place this URL in the URL field. The method is post. Body type is raw, and content type is JSON. Next, copy the following code that can be found in the description into the request content field. To keep the same format when pasting, use Control Shift V instead of Control V. Replace link tap user with your username and replace the API key, gateway ID, and tap linker ID values with your personal link tap values. You can also change the duration, which is how many minutes the tap stays on when it is triggered. Make sure each of the fields matches the punctuation in the example above. For example, the relevant values are surrounded by quotation marks. You can paste your JSON into this website to double check if it is in the right format. Next, we want to set up a filter between the two modules so that the link tap is only activated when the soil is dry. Set up a filter by clicking on the link between the webhook and the HTTP module. Label the filter dry. Set the condition to when the moisture is less than 50. Your webhook should provide sensor block templates for this part. Make sure you use a numeric operator, not time or date time, otherwise the filter will not work. Hit OK to save that. Make sure to save your whole scenario as well. Now, turn on scheduling and set it to run immediately. The next time you export your data from the IoTKG app, it should trigger your link tap to turn on if your garden is dry. Make sure your puck is only exporting data once every two hours if you're on a free plan, and turn off any scenarios in Integromat you aren't using, as Integromat has limitations on how many can be executed per month. If you want to improve your scenario further, you can add a weather forecast module in the middle of your scenario as well, and set up a filter so that the scenario only proceeds if the forecasted weather for the next day has below 3 mm of rain, or does not include rain. Watch the Weather Forecast Integromat video if you want more information on how to set up the weather module. This will set it up so that the link tap only turns on if your garden is dry, and there is no rain predicted in the near future. Save again if you've made any changes. And that's it! Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the video.